I'm Ed McKeever. I race K1 200 meters for Great Britain. 200 meter racing, it's all about pure speed. We race for just under 35 seconds and you race it up to a stroke rate of 180 strokes per minute. The thing that separates me from other athletes, there's my technique, which is not the prettiest, but it's effective. I'm a lot lighter, so it's power to weight ratios. And I'm very stubborn, so there's an overwhelming desire to win. Yeah, I was born in Bath. Went to school in a town called Bradford Navon. Basically, a school friend went to canoe club one night, um, came to school the next day, said I should give it a go. Um, yeah, I went there, did it, enjoyed it, and just kind of took off from there, really. Um, then I went to university to study accountancy and finance in Kingston. I'm very glad I've done that, and I've got kind of, it's a solid foundation for a lot of things, um, from a business point of view, anyway. I've always been very strong with numbers and things. Obviously I did maths at an A-level and business studies, so it was kind of almost just the natural choice for me to go on and study that. It's a bizarre feeling before the start. Obviously you notice the crowd noise and then the announcer says, um, ask the crowd to be quiet and it's all of a sudden it just goes dead and it's like an eerie feeling just as you're sat there on the start line and then the announcer says um, attention please ready go and then although the crowd's noisy you just kind of you don't hear it it's well it's almost as if it's just as eerie as you're paddling along even though the crowd kind of to everyone else is deafening it's just you're so concentrated and focused on your own thing that's all you really notice. You use your peripheral vision a lot and you kind of have a feeling for where you are in a race, what position you are, what your competitors are doing. But you actually get to the finish line, you cross it. You know you're kind of the first beep. You know you're first, but you almost don't care. Like, you've won the race and that's what really counts. Competitive sport, it is very primitive. You just kind of I'm not going to say you want to destroy your opponent, but you, there is kind of like an overwhelming need to win, just and that will drive you. We break a 200 metre race down. There's the start, which is the first three strokes, where you're trying to kind of really get the boat from stationary moving as fast as possible. And then there's the transition phase, where you're taking it from that kind of that slow stroke just moving up and really between 20 and 80 meters is where you're really going to get the kind of key acceleration and after that you've hit top speed and from 80 meters out it's not you're trying to hang on but you're trying to just maintain that top speed as long as you can and then over the last 30 40 meters is that's when you hang on Obviously you want to get out, you want to meet people, see your friends and things, but an athlete never really does that to the detriment of their sport. So it's, it's quite sad in a way you don't get to experience a lot, but you just accept that that's part of life. You do it to feel that sense of achievement and to kind of, yeah, real sen sense of ownership and that's you that's done that. You really feel a kind of sense of pride about it and that's what kind of drives you on for the next one.